Hi, welcome to my channel. Today we're going to be trying out Rare Beauty by Selena Gomez. I had to do this twice. So <laughs> if you're interested in how this product works for oily skin with major hyperpigmentation, then please keep on watching. So Selena Gomez, um, I'm not familiar with her because I am 48 and she was way after my time. <laughs> I'm in the Debbie Gibson, Tiffany kind of era. <laughs> anyway, when it comes to celebrities starting makeup brands, I'm all for it because there's always room for everyone. I say that about everything. There's always room for more. Um, and you know, when new products come online, it pushes the other companies to try a little harder and be more innovative. And I think that's great. So initially I was not interested in purchasing Selena's products, but then I watched um, Hung Van Gogh. He's a makeup artist and he does her makeup sometimes. I watched his video and it made me intrigued. Then I watched Selena on the Vogue um, Get Ready. It's like a Get Ready With Me on, on the Vogue YouTube channel. She talked about bringing awareness to mental health and how a percent of the proceeds, I think it's 1% a year. I could be wrong. I can't remember. She's, she said she was going to donate part of the proceeds to mental health awareness to a fund I think that she started or a foundation she started or some mental health fund um, to bring awareness to mental health. And as a nurse, I know mental health is still stigmatized. You know, people don't like to talk about it, but it's just like any other disease. You know, chemicals in your brains don't work. That's just the way you were made. Just like diabetes or high blood pressure, it's you can do your best to control it, but sometimes it's just out of your control. So I like that she's bringing awareness to mental health. I do struggle with uh, depression, and so I do know, especially in the Korean culture, it's not talked about. Nobody has a mental health issue in, Korea, in the Korean culture. So I do understand the stigmatism with it. So I'm happy to support her bringing mental health awareness to the public. I'm gonna try these products on a mature, oily, oily, oily AF skin and see how it wears. So let's, I bought 12 different products. So let's go ahead and get started. I'm gonna start by um, putting this fresh lip balm on my lips. This is the blood orange just to moisturize my lips while I'm putting on the makeup. So I've prepped my skin and done my skincare. I did not buy her primer because it's a luminizing primer and I don't need more luminizing. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and put on my tried and true, the Urban Decay All Nighter Primer. This works with my oily skin and usually does a good job of holding the oils at bay. I've noticed that when I use this, the Kia Joy's powder and the Charlotte Tilbury setting spray, oh, my, my skin looks good. Now here in San Diego, it's supposed to reach 90. It's already so hot. I have the air conditioner on and it's only 9.15. Okay, anyway, I digress. So the first thing I got is a foundation brush. So I love makeup brushes, so I thought I would get this. Now this foundation brush has a diamond shape to it. And I do love collecting found, um, brushes. So I thought I would try this out. And I figured it would get in really good right here. The other brush I got was the concealer brush. This also has a diamond shape to it, and it's much smaller. So you can see between the foundation brush and the concealer brush. So I'm excited to try this. And they're very soft. Let's go ahead and get started. We're gonna go with the foundation first. So this is the foundation. Isn't that component cute? I love that it looks so simple and beautiful, minimalistic. And it says Rare Beauty on there. And it's glass. <laughs> And it's got this little ball on the top. So this is called the Liquid Touch Weightless Foundation. Well, let me read to you the description. It's a weightless foundation with concentrated pigments that feels barely there while providing buildable, medium to full coverage with a natural finish. I love a natural finish. And with all this hyperpigmentation, I need all the help I can get. 
So it says to use, be sure to moisturize first, then prep with always an illuminate, always an Optimus illuminating primer, which I'm not gonna do. And it says shake up your foundation to make sure the pigments are evenly dispersed. Dot onto cheeks, forehead, and chin. Blend with your fingers or the foundation brush or a liquid touch multitasking sponge. I did not purchase this sponge because I like the sponges that I have and sponges are not that exciting to me. So if I hear that there are great reviews on it, maybe I'll purchase it later. So let's go ahead and shake this up. I have mine in the color 280N. I didn't know what, what color to pick, so I'm just gonna do my best. So hopefully that works out. Now this does come with a big doe foot applicator and it's got like a pointed edge to it. See that? Now I know some people don't like putting their foundation in and out. They say it's not clean, but my skin is clean and we do that with concealers all the time. So if I were to have active breakouts, I would put it on my hand first and then apply it. But let's go ahead and try one side first. This might be a little too warm for me. So let's go ahead and try this with the brush. Yeah, it's too orange for me. <laughs> Am I gonna look like an Oompa Loompa? Oh, I can't even tell I have foundation on my skin. No. Let's bring that down. On camera, it looks all right. Oh, wow, this brush is amazing. Oh, this foundation feels so good. Now, if it just holds the coverage, that'll be perfect. So this is what one light layer looks like. So let me show you, let me bring you in closer. So this is a side with one light layer and this is with nothing. Looks pretty good, huh? So let me try a little bit more. Let's just do some coverage right around my areas of hyperpigmentation. And I'm just gonna kind of stipple that in. You guys, this is an amazing brush and foundation. First impression. And there's no, it just smells like a natural makeup. You know, there's not a strong odor. I can't smell anything unless I put it right to my nose. This makeup brush does a great job. I don't even see brush lines. Like, I don't feel like I need to go back in with a sponge and stipple it into my face. Bring that down my neck. Okay, so that's with two light layers. This is a side without. Okay, let's do the other side. You just need the lightest touch. You don't even need to like circle and blend like I usually do. You guys, it feels like I have nothing on my face. Okay, other than the color, I love how this is looking on my face. All right. Then I got two of their concealers. I got 280N and I always get that to match for my hyperpigmentation. And then I got 230N for right under my eyes and areas where I need to highlight. So let's go ahead and open those up. 230N and 280N. So it looks very similar to the foundation packaging, but it's miniature. Let's read what it says. These are called liquid touch brightening concealers. And this description is it's a lightweight hydrating concealer with cake free, that's important to note, medium to full coverage that lasts while brightening skin with the radiant finish and it's a medium coverage. It says use the doe foot applicator to apply to blemishes or areas of discoloration. Diffuse concealer with a brush, sponge, or fingertips. The custom doe foot feature features a flat edge to sweep concealer onto larger areas of face and a pointed tip for more precise application. So let's go ahead and try this. I'm gonna try this on half my face again. So let's go ahead with the light color first and you'll see it's got that pointed edge to it. Do you see that? So I'm gonna just, put, I don't know how this is gonna wear. So I'm just gonna put a little bit like that and I'm gonna go in with the concealer brush and I love how it goes right in the corner there it's a little bit thicker than the foundation 
but I love how it just, you can just stipple that in. Okay, let's do this. It is thicker, so just be careful, cause like, look at right there, I got too much on there. I would say it's a medium coverage. Okay, so that's one side with, and this is a side without. Nice medium coverage, don't you think? Okay, let's do under the eye on this side. And it doesn't dry quickly, so you have time to spread it out. And it blends beautifully with the foundation. I probably should have gotten a little bit of a darker color. This is a little too brightening for me. It looks a little too illuminating for me, but let's see how it wears with um, powder. So now I'm going to take the 280N and I'm going to put that over my areas of hyperpigmentation. I'm just going to put that too orange. And I'm going to use a little concealer brush for all these little areas that I just want to tap out. Ooh, look at how great that blends. <laughs> That's amazing. Okay, I'm going to use my bigger brush for these big areas. Just pounce that in. Next time I'm going to use the darker color first and then do under my eyes so that I can get more of a brightening area. Okay, let's take a look at the skin. Damn, that looks good. I just need a different color. Okay, I'm gonna take a damp beauty blender and I'm just gonna pounce that in just a little bit, just to try to press it a little bit more into my skin. I'm very pleased with how this is applying now she did come out with a powder but it was a powder poof and um blotting paper i decided not to get that i'm just going to go ahead and use the nakia joy cosmetics powder this has been working well for me and i'm going to put that all over my face with the damp beauty blender because you know i need to set all of this see it's already Maybe this might not be for oily, mature skin. Oh, by the way, I have oily, oily skin, if I didn't say that already. Oily, 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 grease pit of a face, mature skin. I am 48, almost 49. <gasps> I'm going to be 49 soon. <laughs> My body feels like it's like 55. My brain thinks I'm like 22. No, maybe 25. My skin, oh, it's showing my age that powder brought down the orange on my face so this color might end up working okay let's see how this wears i don't want my eyebrow i mean my eyelids to get now she did come out with an eyebrow product but i didn't buy it because when i watch um, hung Van Gogh's. It looked a little too creamy for me, so I did not purchase that. So I'm going to go in with my favorite products. Here's the Shantakai Full Brow Perfecting Gel and Tint. I'm going to use this on my eyebrows. This has quickly become my favorite eyebrow product. I love how natural it looks. And the thing with this um, Rare Beauty brand, it's like a your skin but better. And I watched Selena Gomez on YouTube, you know, the Vogue get ready with me or whatever thing that they have. Oh, oh look, it's starting to pill. Or maybe that's just the powder. Yeah, that's just the powder. Um, and she was talking about how you're beautiful as you are, but makeup is supposed to be fun and enhance your natural beauty. And so this is like a your face, but no makeup makeup, your face, but better. <laughs> you know what I'm talking about. <laughs> And I do like that no makeup makeup look, which I would be doing all the time if I didn't have all this hyperpigmentation. Okay, I goofed up right here. I'm gonna let this dry a little bit. Then I'm gonna go with the Hourglass Brow Sculpting Pencil, and I have mine in the color Warm Brunette. And I'm just gonna take this side and just kind of fill in the gaps a little bit and extend the brow just a tad. Nothing too crazy because this is a natural look. And my brows are cousins, not twins. They're not even close to being sisters. <laughs> okay, there we go. 
So my eyebrows are done. Let's go with the next item. I got an illuminizer. Oh, by the way, I forgot to say the foundation and the concealers come in 48 shades. That is so amazing that they have such a wide range of colors. And I honestly think that Fenty Beauty pushed all the companies to be more inclusive. And I like that. Another thing that people have been saying is that they're so against like uh, celebrity makeup brands. But I'm like, there's room for everyone. Just give everyone a chance. <laughs> At least that's my thought. Okay, so this is the rare, uh, the positive light liquid luminizer highlight. I have mine in the color Mesmerize, which is uh, rose bronze. Oh, it says it's Selena's go-to shade. So it says it's a silky second skin liquid highlighter that creates a lasting soft and luminous finish. And it says to use it by using the doe foot applicator, apply one or two dots wherever you want to add a touch of glow. High points of the cheek, brow bone, or bridge of nose. So she has eight colors that came, she came out with and I decided to go with Mesmerize. So before I try it on my face, I want to put a, a little bit. Ooh, that's glowy. So you know what I'm gonna do? <laughs> I'm just gonna use that and dot that on the high points of my cheek. And then I'm gonna use my beauty blender and kind of pounce that out. Now I did put powder on, so I don't know if this is gonna lift my Oh, I probably should have done this before powder because it's sticking. You can see where I put my fingers. So let me try to work this in. Yeah, it's lifting my foundation and concealer. But I do like the natural, natural highlight look that it gives but it is breaking up my foundation and concealer, which was looking so good. Hmm. Now, I don't know if that's because I was using my finger first and it was too hard of an application, but see right there, I can't blend that, but that's probably because I put powder down. Let me see if I can work that in. Okay, note to self, don't use your fingers. Just use a sponge. Because I can see where I... Hmm. I'm going to put a little bit here. I'm going to put a little bit more on my hand because I want to do a little bit under my eyebrows. I am going to have to try this without powdering first, but... Can you see the natural luminizing? I kind of like that. I don't like how it's wearing on top of the powder though. I'll have to try it without. And look, it's already getting yucky. I guess that's the negative of having a light component. Oh, but it wipes right off. It's plastic, so it does wipe right off. It's not like the kind that sucks up the product. So that's good, at least that. I wanna put more highlighter on just to give it a little bit more glow, but I'm kind of scared. So we'll just leave it. I got two blushes, four matte, four dewy, and I decided to get one of each. Oh, and these come with the silver, is it silver? Yeah, a silver component on top. Let's see how they blend. Whoa, whoa, they're super pigmented. Okay, how should I put this on? You know what, I'm gonna try using a brush. I'm gonna use a foundation brush and I'm just gonna go right into this. Well, I need a little bit more of that, let's see. I'm gonna use this and I'm gonna pounce that in using the brush. It, so this is on top of powder again. This is a matte, oh, you can tell it's matte. It's not blending very well above my powder. Hmm. And I usually like to put my cream products on top of my powder because of my hyperpigmentation, but I may have to try this. You can see here, let me bring you in closer. See how it looks like it's starting to separate right there? It's not blending very well. 
That looks like it would be a pretty color, doesn't it? Let's try Joy. So this is the dewy finish. Whoa, look at how pigmented that is. This isn't blending very well on top of the powder either. And that is pigmented. And I don't have any bronzer on yet. And I put the luminizer on first, the highlight, so that it wouldn't sit on top of the blush. And I wanted it to blend with the blush. So let me bring you in closer for this. Again, you can see it's sitting and it's not blending very well. Yeah, that's a disappointment but I'm gonna reserve judgment and try it without powder next time. I'm gonna try bouncing it with the blend sponge and see if that helps. And it doesn't shock, but I think the colors would be pretty on someone who didn't need powder. Wow, that looks really bad. That looks really bad, do you see that? Yeah, you can see all right there. Okay, she came out with a liquid liner and I've heard really good things about that liquid liner, um, but I didn't purchase it. So I'm gonna go ahead and line my eyes. I'm gonna put on mascara, tight line my waterline, and I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. I used the M Cosmetics liquid liner to tr just line my upper water, I mean, line my upper eyelid. Then I used the Pat McGrath Extreme Black to tight line my waterline, and then use the Thrive Cosmetics mascara to put on mascara just onto my upper lashes and you can't really even see it with all that thick <laughs> liner okay so let's go on to the next product i purchased four of her lippies and i'm going to go over the balms first these are called with gratitude dewy lip balms and i got mine in two colors i got mine in thankful and empathy so let's try on thankful first Ooh. It's like flat on one side and rounded on the other, and it's magnetic. This is what Thankful looks like. Let's swatch it right here. Ooh, that's a pretty color. It's called a nude mauve, and it's a hydrating, nourishing balm that adds a hint of just kissed color with a natural dewy finish. So let's try this on. You know I love me a lip balm. Mmm. <gasps> Whoa, that feels really good. And look at how pigmented that is. Okay, that's thankful. Ooh, I like that. And I like this. Oh, it's not a very strong magnet. Oh, it has to be right. It has to line up for it to, because if it's not, it won't close. Look at that. It has to line up. Okay. The next color I got is Empathy. It's something I try to teach my kids. Empathy is a uh, rose mauve. Oh, I got two mauve colors. And let's swatch this one. This one is a rose mauve. Oh, that's pretty too. Mmm, that's gorgeous. Whoa. This is Empathy. It is brighter than it looks. Doesn't that look brighter on my lips than it does on my hand? Or maybe I'm just not used to it. But that's a pretty color too. It's got a little taste to it. it doesn't really have a fragrance, but it has a little taste to it. Like makeup taste. But that's empathy. I like that too. Okay, let's try closing this and it has to be aligned. And she came out with eight shades. I like those, but I don't like the taste. I'm going to go into her liquid lippy. I got two shades, and these are called Lip Souffle Matte Cream Lipsticks. Now, I don't usually like um, liquid lipsticks, but when Hung Van Gogh used it on his model, he said it didn't feel like a liquid lipstick. It was more like a souffle, like a just um, a, like a blotted lip. So I decided to try it. I got mine in the colors Brave and Inspire. Brave and Inspire. So this is the color Brave. This is a muted terracotta color. So let's try this. Cross your fingers that it works. Okay, this is what the applicator looks like. 
It looks like a spatula, doesn't it? Okay, let's try this. Oh, oh, look, it's like a popsicle stain. I can't talk while I do this. Oh, it feels like nothing on the lips. Let's see how it dries. Ooh, that's very comfortable. I don't know if this has that taste because of the lip balms or... Yeah, it has that makeup... Makeup smell, taste. Ugh. So that is Brave, Muted Terracotta. But I like how it looks. I wonder if this taste would dissipate. Ooh, it's like a blotted lip. I wonder if this is gonna like wear off well. You know what I'm saying? I like the look and feel and comfort of it. It's not drying down. I don't like the taste, but I like the color. Isn't that pretty? I feel like I need to put a little bit of this um, blush on this side of my face because uh, it's uneven and it's driving me batty. It's already lifted, so do I look a little more even? <laughs> okay, so there's that. Oh, I forgot to swatch that, so let me swatch that for you. That's brave. Then I got the color Inspire, and this is Inspire is a bright red, and it's Selena's go-to shade. That's why I picked this one. So let's go ahead and try this. Let's swatch it down here. That's pretty, so let's try this on my lips. This pointed uh, tip, spatula tip, helps with um, defining your lips. That is very comfortable. Just don't like the taste. So this is the color Inspire, a bright red. It looks brighter well maybe that's not the color it looks deeper on camera than it does in real life so she has an always an optimist four-in-one prime and set and it's an ultra fine glow boosting mist that hydrates primes and sets and refreshes skin i decided not to get that so i'm just going to use because i saw that it had oil on top and it separated and i don't need more oil on my skin so i'm just going to use the charlotte tilbury my favorite setting spray. I'm so disappointed with how the uh, blush looks on top of powder. So there you have it. My full face of rare beauty on oily skin. Okay, you guys, I'm back. <laughs> it was so nasty, I had to wash it off. So I washed off my face, I did my skincare. Um, this time I'm not, I'm gonna try it again without powdering before I put on the cream products. So I'm not gonna put on a, um, primer and I'm just going to put on the foundation, the concealer, and then I'll be back to do the rest of my face, okay? I'll be right so back. So I put on my foundation, concealer, my eyebrows. I didn't use a liquid liner for my eyelids. I just put on mascara and tight line my waterline. So let's <clears throat> let's try this again. Okay, I'm going to go in with a little bit of the luminizer and I think the highlighter, I'm just going to put it on my hand like this kind of blend it out and then use a sponge to kind of see if that'll dot on my face without lifting without lifting oh it already lifted shocks oh, can you guys see that see it kind of lifted let me show you on this side this side isn't as bad She can't really tell because my face is so greasy. Let me put a little bit more. I guess she can't tell as much when it's like highlighting. Isn't that pretty though? But it, it did pick up my concealer and foundation. Darn. But it looks better than it did when I had powder on. Ah! I do like the look of that highlighter though, but it's not gonna work for me. Shot. Okay, let's try the blush. I'm just gonna go in with the brighter one, the dewy one, Joy, and I'm gonna put that on my hand, same as I did for, um, and I'm gonna spread that on my hand and then use the Beauty Blender to kind of pounce that onto my cheek. 
maybe I should have waited before or waited some more before I put it down because that looks better. I mean, it's not ideal. Oops, went too low, went too low. Mayday, mayday. Okay, let's try to fix this. I'm gonna put a little more foundation right where I put too much right there. Hmm. Let me bring you in closer so you guys can take a look and judge for yourselves. It is much better than when I put on powder first, but it did lift a little bit of the concealer on my areas of hyperpigmentation, but it's not patchy like it was when I had the powder on. Not as patchy, I should say. Okay, let me put some powder on and we'll finish this up. And you can still kind of see the luminizer on there. Well, no, not really. Oh, that takes it away. Okay, I'm gonna be brave since I already effed it up. I'm gonna put a little bit more luminizer on here and I'm gonna try using the Beauty Blender and putting it, Damn, that was a bust. Shoot, I was really hoping to love this. Okay, there's my final look. This looks much better from far away <laughs> than the first look did. The first look was so patchy with the powder under the liquid products. That was a bust. Okay, so this isn't gonna work on oily skin with a lot of hyperpigmentation. I think if you have great skin, this is gonna look beautiful. Okay, here are my final thoughts for these products. I am going to keep trying the foundation and concealer with other, um, with powder makeup and see how this wears. Unfortunately for me, the highlighter and blushes are a bust, a major, major bust. I'm so disappointed because I really like the, the philosophy of the line, you know, the no makeup makeup look kind of, your natural beauty kind of look. I think it's just a great, great way to go. And if I had perfect skin, I would probably love this. I love the brushes, love, love, love. As for her lippies, I really like how this um, lipstick wears. It's, it's like matte cloud blotted lip kind of a look, you know, like a popsicle stain kind of a look. I don't, I don't like the taste. Same with the lip balm. I love this, the two colors that I got, but I don't like the taste. Is that bad? But I like the colors. So we'll see if I reach for these at all. Probably not because I have a lot of lippies, but we'll see. Well, those are my thoughts, final thoughts. I'm disappointed. But thank you so much for joining me. If you enjoyed this type of video, don't forget to give me a thumbs up, subscribe, and I'll see you next time.